And hello everyone today, uh, we're graced with the presence of Dr. Daniel today, author of a bestseller, So You Want to Be a Doctor. We're thankful that you're here, but she does have some news for all of you that didn't know, which is covered in her book, but we want to give you a glimpse into her life today now. One of the questions we want to know is, when were you actually diagnosed with multiple sclerosis? Well, I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis about five years ago. And it happened after I finished medical school and I was doing residency training in anesthesiology. Okay. Wow, residency, so it just caught you off guard. Yeah. Hmm. How were you actually diagnosed? Like, what was going on to let you know that you had it? Okay, so I was working in the hospital. I was actually on an intensive care unit rotation. And my days were busy. I was running back and forth throughout the hospital. And then one day, out of nowhere, I noticed that my right leg felt like it was falling asleep. And I didn't think anything of it. I thought, you know, that's weird, but whatever, I'm sure it'll go away. And it never went away. Like that feeling of numbness and tingling in my foot stayed there and then it got worse. It spread to different parts of my body. So like a pins and needles type of thing? Yeah, it was pins and needles in the foot. And then it spread to the other foot, to my face, I mean, all kinds of things. And also, I started having, you know, problems with my memory and with my speech. I mean, just all kinds of random things happening. So finally, I went to the doctor. They sent me up with some tests. And then that all led to my hospitalization and my diagnosis. So prior to all this leg numbness, you were completely healthy otherwise? Yes. So this Perfectly was a complete healthy. shock. Perfectly healthy. I never had any serious health issues in my life. Never, you know, needed an x-ray, never anything, you know. And so this just came out of nowhere. I thought it was nothing. I tried to ignore it, but it kept getting worse. And so I had to deal with it. So after you were hospitalized, what type of medications did they try? So in the hospital, to get the major symptoms to go away, because by that point, I had lost the ability to walk. Wow. You know, I had to like hold on to things just to move from place to place. And so by that time, they wanted to get rid of the inflammation. So they put me on corticosteroids. And it's not the steroids that bodybuilders use to like bulk up. Mm -hmm. But these are different kinds of steroids that will control inflammation. So they hooked me up to an IV. They gave me the steroids and I started to feel better. And then after they actually diagnosed me with multiple sclerosis, they put me on an injectable medication where I had to kind of stab myself with wow. needles okay. and give myself medication every few days. So how has your health changed from five years ago to where you are today? So when I was first diagnosed they placed me on that injectable medication and it didn't work well with me. I was still having a lot of symptoms, even worse symptoms than before I went on the medication. And so I had to kind of adjust the medication, find a different one that would work for me. And so now I get a medication that is infused into my veins every month, and that seems to be working well for me. So I've been on that medication for about four years, okay. and it's doing well. I still have a lot of symptoms like uh, fatigue and weakness and, you know, still memory problems. But I think I'm doing a lot better than when I was at my worst. So it seems like a scary situation to be in, to just come on you suddenly. So what advice would you have for the newly diagnosed who may be going through the same type of situation? Well, as with anyone, I think you should pay attention to your health and what's going on with your body. You know, make sure you know what's normal for you and just keep track of what you're experiencing. So that way, when you talk to your doctor, you can work with them to figure out what's going on and what you can do about it. So once you know what the diagnosis is, if it is multiple sclerosis, then continue to research and explore, you know, find out what works well for you because multiple sclerosis hits everyone differently. You know, I may have certain symptoms, but the next person with MS may have completely different symptoms. Like some people have pain, some people have all kinds of things that I would never even imagine having. So you have to research and explore, know what works for you, and just try to be as healthy as possible. Okay, is there anything else you'd like others to know about you or your situation or how to deal with it, how to get help? Yeah, I think the most frustrating thing about having MS is that 
people don't seem to know what it is or understand what it is. So, you know, people may hear that you have MS, but they don't really know what it is. Mm -hmm. And briefly, it's a disease of the nerves of the body. So instead of the brain sending messages to the body normally, in MS, the nerves get damaged, and so the signals the brain is trying to send don't reach where they want to go. And so with that, you get a lot of symptoms. And like I said, the numbness, the tingling, the pain, the weakness, the balance, problems, all kinds of things. So no two people with MS are alike. And even though you may not see the symptoms that they have, like they may not look sick, mm -hmm. people with MS are sick and they're dealing with a lot of things inside. And so it's kind of difficult when people don't recognize that. They think you're perfectly healthy, they expect a lot out of you, and you just have to constantly tell them, you know, slow down for a minute, let me deal with this situation the way that I can, you know? So I just wish that people knew that MS is a real disease and just be patient with anyone you know who has it. Okay. Well, thank you for your time. You summed it up well. I almost forgot you were a doctor as you were explaining it to me. So once again, thank you. Thanks, Shemaine Daniel, doctor, author, publisher, bookseller, list goes on. Check her out, wagnerwolf.com. Thanks a lot. Hi, I'm Dr. Shermaine P. Daniel from wagnerwolf.com, and here's how you can reach me. My website is www.wagnerwolf.com. My Twitter handle is at Premed Advice. On Facebook, you can become a fan of WagnerWolf.com or join the group so you want to be a doctor. You can find our wonderful book on Amazon.com in addition to WagnerWolf.com. We're on the Kindle e-reader. In addition, I set up an email address for all of you pre-meds who want to contact me, and that's WagnerWolfPublishing at Yahoo.com. Thanks, and I hope to hear from you soon.